Hey guys, Oakland Gym Bodybuilding. I'm going to be telling you guys about your short, your medium, long term goal. And plus, today was coming. So, hopefully, you guys have did some form of cardio. Me, I was, since I am in ROTC, I was marching. So, that was my cardio. Um, if your legs are sore, good job. But if your legs aren't, maybe next time stack on a little bit of weight. Or maybe you didn't go deep. And if your knees are hurting, you obviously didn't go deep enough. My knees have hurt. For, has been a normal thing after leg like day. So if you have like post knee injuries, you're gonna feel some pain. So you know, just try to stretch it, your quad out as much as possible. And then yeah. So some short and long term goals. When training, you wanna have them short and long term. I set up on weights. On a short term go, I want to be able to rep 165 times on bench on the flat bench press, 10 times. Once I do that, we can cross that goal. We can take care of that goal. Then our squat, I want to be able to squat 225 10 times. Deadlift, I want to be able to deadlift 255 10 times. And I want a strict barbell curl 95 pounds 10 times. So, our next. Our medium goal, which is probably when you look for in about a few months, maybe six, six to a year. I want to bench press 225 five times, squat 315 five times, deadlift 315 five times, strict curl 125 three times. I want to be able to bench press. Long term goal will be 275 ten times. I mean, I want to be able just to max out it at 275 squat. I want to be able to do 405. Same thing with deadlift. Well, actually, no. Deadlift, I want to be able to do... Let's see. Yeah, deadlift, I want to be able to do 405. And then strict curl, 135. So you want to have... It's good to be setting yourself up with goals setting yourself up with achievements and try to get it if you can go as heavy if you need that spotter to help push you for that last rep but that means you can put your goal hey go for it so so today and tomorrow we're going to be doing today will be or tomorrow you can make one of these days your cardio days or you can make both of them cardio personally i'm gonna make one day cardio i want to be able to relax Sure, I don't count marching as the car doesn't feel only march for about 15 minutes. But tomorrow we're doing PT and ROTC, so we're going to be running a lot. So I got that to look forward to. And then on Saturday, we're going to pick back up. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Yeah, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday will be our workouts. And we'll be done. That's well, the cycle. Then Tuesday and Wednesday, and start back up with Thursday. So, and we're going to, in this cycle coming up, we're going to probably aim for heavier weight. So, let's see, how much, so for bench press. For bench press, we're probably going to do, we're probably going to start out with, we did, we got some new exercises. We're going to start out with 105, so, so we're going to put goal, 105, 110, 115, 120, and 125. And once we do that, we're going to, hopefully things will get, will be, we should be able to hit higher weight. And, yeah, so, so you just gotta look forward to the next workout. Um, what I did is, for me, the way I like to load up on carbs is I eat ramen noodles. You get more carbs when you cook them, I feel. So, I guess, like, I'm always full once I cook them, so, maybe it, maybe wrong, might be in my head. But, you know, I get at least 100 cards when I have 
you get about 50 cards a bag, so, you know, I'll normally eat two of them. And the thing is, you can live with those cards. You can do that. Just eat six of them. If you eat six of them cooked a day, one in the morning when you wake up, one as a snack, one for lunch, one as another snack, one for dinner, and one for, who knows, um, just a later snack, your, your carb content, your carbs will go up real high. So, alright guys, hope you enjoyed that.